Emirates Lions defense coach Jacques Puri and uh, Sunil Lenoir uh, We've got uh, ten minutes, guys. So who's going to kick us off? Oh, so we can go. Oh, thanks, guys. Ten seconds. <laughs> Any questions, guys? I can mute off. Hi, yes, can I start? Yeah. Yes, Carl, you can go. Jock, um, it was a close match. Um, what have you learned from your first match overseas, and what are you looking for to improve? Yeah, Carl, how are you guys doing? Um, it was a close match. I think um, at the end, we were both, did quite well to pull that one through. And I think for the character to team is going to go a long way for us. So um, in saying that, I think we had a lot of opportunities. Uh, we gave away a lot of easy, easy tries that we shouldn't have. So I know that we'll work on that this week and we'll get it, get it right for the weekend. Hans? Hi guys, hope you're well. Um, Jock, I know that you mentioned, you know, there were a couple of um, easy tries, particularly in that first off, but you must be quite pleased with how you guys tightened up, you know, essentially, you know, from the, from that, you know, almost those setbacks, you know, and then the second half, you know, so there must be something to work with at least. Yeah, for sure. I think um, I can never fault the guys, um, you know, their effort. I think from, from the first whistle, um, every time that we made contact with them, we've, it, it, you know, it, it was big contact. So on that, I can't fault the guys. Now it's just to to start working together. And as the game went on, you know, we we started working together as a team, as a unit. And I don't know if you saw the game in the second half, they started playing deeper and deeper and they started kicking more. So I think they, they felt that going into the second half, you know, that, that we were hurting them a little bit. Thanks, Hans. Anything else, guys? No one wants to. I'll do. Um, questions to, to Sanele. Sanele, you changed from the Sharks to the Lions. Um, why did you do it? And how successful are, do you think it will be? And are you enjoying your time with the Lions? Um, 100% I'm enjoying my time with the Lions, you know, um, I just felt like I needed a change, you know, a new start. Um, so working with the new coaches, um, adding the knowledge I picked up at the Sharks and learning from the coaches and and the peers around me, um, I'm still learning, still trying to grow. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying my time here. Thanks, Carl. Dylan? Um, yeah, thanks. Uh, how's it guys? I hope you're both well. Um, just a question for Jacques, please. Um, Jacques, just your thoughts on um, how the defense went in that um, game against Ospreys. Um, and then what you sort of are you expecting from Cardiff this weekend? Yeah, Dylan, I think, like I said, I think we started off started off well. And we gave away, I think, three, three easy, easy tries that we gave away that we just need to work on. It's small stuff that we need to fix. Uh, as the game went on, we went stronger and stronger. And I think we ended off, off quite strong. We had a, a good good set of defence to, to, to um, lock the game out and get a penalty. So, um, but I felt quite, you know, quite happy with, with the intensity of the contact, the physicality of the contact. Um, the wild side, you know, they, they pride themselves with the big forwards coming around the corner and, and they, they've got backs that wants to play with the ball. So I don't think I can expect anything different from the Cardiff side. They've also got a big pack, and they've, they've probably got a lot of, lot of nippy backline players to take the, take the ball wide. So we've done our homework, and hopefully we'll be prepared on Friday night when we jog out against them. Hans, you got another one? Yeah, please. Jock, I'm sorry, just, just on that again, I mean, I know you, you mentioned now that there are just like small system errors that you can still tweak and stuff. But um, I suppose just in general, this is like a longer term project, probably, you know, establishing um, a defensive system and stuff. Just where do you feel you guys are in terms of that, you know, broader picture? Yeah, I think um, sitting back, probably now looking back to last year, I think we've, I mean, we've 100% better than we were last year. So it's our second year into the system. And I think the guys are, are now only coming into the system and, and understanding it properly the way that our coaches want them to understand it. 
and and we've been putting a lot of lot of time into it. Um, you know, twenty percent, twenty percent of the game is a set piece, and eighty percent is is um, unstructured. So we're spending a lot of time on unstructured defence, and probably you know the twenty percent on on vacuum defence, Lana defence, and then from there on, it's you know it's 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 just defending what's in front of you, um, going up, making the tackles, and slowing down their ruck, or, or even turning the ball around. Dylan, your hand is still up. You got another one or not? Um, yes, please. Um, yeah. I, I, this question's for either one of you. You can feel sort of free to jump in, but we've seen from the early results in the first couple of rounds here that there's been a couple of surprises. You look at um, Dragons beating Munster, for example, something not many would have expected. Um, how much does that sort of give you a bit of hope of knocking off some of the bigger sides in this tournament, but does it also sort of keep you on your toes in a way as well? <laughs> um, uh, I think it's, it's, it goes both ways, you know, um, it's such a, a fierce competition, anyone can beat anyone on the day, so it's a matter of preparing well and being sharp on the day and you give yourself a bit a better chance of winning the game because everyone is so good and just it, it just depends on the, on the day if you push up or not. Do you want to take a stab at that? Yeah, I think also guys, like Sanele said, you know, it's a I think it's our second second year in the competition, so I think we pretty much expect a little bit more, you know, what's going to happen overseas. And we know touring, we need to start well, we need to get points overseas. I think we last year we were probably out with, with two games that, that we missed out. And, and if we probably won those two games, we would have been in a quarterfinal. So we need to take our chances overseas and we need to, when we get back home, we need to have a, have a, have a solid start there as well. Thanks, Dylan. Uh, Gareth? Gareth Hi, Jack. Hi, All Jack. Right. It's Gareth here from BBC Wales. Um, I'm sure you've done your homework already. Did you watch Talupe Falatao's performance last weekend? Yeah, we did. We went, I did watch his performance. Um, you know what? Uh, it's, it's, there's probably two or three good individuals in the team, but I mean, we're not going to focus on, on just one individual. We're focusing on the team. And if you look at how they played against Glasgow, you know, we're also not going to look too much into that. We know they're going to, you know, they're a tough team, they're a physical team. So we, we really need to do our homework properly and pitch up on Friday night. Uh, Sanele, um, how much did you enjoy your experience last week? A uh, lot of us in Wales were very impressed by your performance. Um, no, I was very um, impressed with my performance. You know, having played a lot of rugby over the last six six months or so, um, so it was just I was I was glad just to get some some game time and just enjoy the night with the boys. You know, we trained so hard during the week. It's good to reap the rewards um, on 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 Saturday night. Uh, we enjoyed your altercation with the the ball boy. We thought that was quite cute and quite funny when you tried to tap the ball. That's what, that's what happened there. Uh, it's just I was just trying to slow down the game. <laughs> it was just a bad play for me. I know I'm probably gonna get a stick from the coaches um, later today, but mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that that was just that. There was nothing much to it. Uh, Jacques, you're not smiling that much. Having <laughs> having seen that incident, yeah, it's a tough one because it's a penalty and it kicked in the corner and at seven points. You know, so like Sanele said, we'll we've got a, a review later and we're probably gonna smack him under the fingers a little bit, a little bit later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, Gareth. Hans, are you still, is your hand still up? Yeah, please. Um, Sanele, so I'm talking of something a bit more fun and more positive. Um, how satisfied were you with your try? You know, was that just an extinct, instinctive thing or is that sort of like a concerted effort to, to actually look for pressure points throughout the game? And um, just secondly, also, um, rotation is obviously going to be key, you know, now that you guys are going to play in Europe as well. Um, I know it's early days, but did you enjoy having a halfback combination with Gianni? Um, yeah, obviously everyone, everyone in the whole squad puts their hands up for selection, and obviously the coaches back whoever they have to back and try new combinations. And I think it worked well um, with me and Gianni um, um, on Saturday. So we we're very happy. First time playing together, and we we just backed each other up and just trusted each other's calls, and like um, everything took off from there.
And just on your try, you know, that pressure that you that you said put on um, your fellow halfback, was that a instinctive thing? Is that sort of like a con concerted effort to try and put pressure on, you know, the attacking team whenever? I think the credit goes to the to the to the scrummages, you know, the forwards. Um, they're the one that actually put a lot of, of pressure and I was just lucky to pounce on the try. I think credit goes to the forwards, not me really. All right, guys, we're going to take two more before we release the guys. Um, Carl, you got one more, and then after Carl, we'll take the final one. We'll take Carl and then Ross, and then we'll close it, guys. Carl? Thanks a lot, Nyanisu. Uh, um, so, Nelly, obviously, um, you guys watched the test of the Springboks also. How big is your hopes to still be selected for the November tour, or are you uh, happy to or content to just uh, do your best at the Lions at this stage? Um, my focus is here at the Lions, purely that, nothing more. Ross, do you want to close it off? Sure, thanks, guys. How's it, Jacques? How's it, Sonele? Um, Sonele, obviously, first start in the URC for you. Um, you know, uh, obviously, you um, missed out quite a bit when you were still at the Sharks. And coming in with the Lions last season, you played uh, mostly in the Curry Cup. So how was sort of uh, the difference in sort of um, a feeling, you know, in that first URC start for you? And, uh, you know, obviously, Monet has been playing really well, and you must be building quite a nice uh, um, competition with him for places. And uh, how's that going? I think it's more of um, helping each other than competition at camp, you know. Um, he shares information, I share a bit of information, which I... Um, help each other out as much as we can on the field just to make him better and and for him to make me better. And then at the end of the day, like I said, the coaches will see which combination works for us. Um, whoever is selected on the day, if he's selected, I'll help him up, uh, prepare him for, for the Saturday. And just like how we did last weekend, like he put me under pressure during the week to, to make me good for the weekend. So I think it's more um, helping each other than competing really. Fantastic. Sorry, and then just one for Jacques. Um, you must be uh, very pleased with uh, that defensive effort from the guys, uh, particularly in the last 10 minutes against Ospreys. You know, there were a few um, weak moments against the Bulls at Ellis Park the week before, letting the guys through uh, easily a few times. But uh, against Ospreys, the guys really shut it down in those last 10 minutes and uh, limited the penalties as well. You know, what did you sort of attribute that change to in a week's time? Yeah, Ross, I think, you know, at the end of the game, I think the guys had to believe that we can win the game. And, um, you know, I just said to the guys, boys, if you, know, you know, we can't give any silly penalties away because, you know, they've most of the, the teams have got goal, a good goal kicker. So, um, and as the game got, got you know, more into the game, we got more confidence with the line speed and, and the guys are jutting together, also working on the inside and outside, you know. Um, the errors we made is, is some of them are, are personnel. Um, it's not system errors, so um, so we're working on that. And like I say, we're just getting better and better every every weekend. All right, guys, thank you very much. We'll have to wrap it up. We appreciate your time. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Thank you. Thanks. Bye bye.